In this video, let us start with the type menu. And in the type menu, we have several options dealing with font, font features, glyphs, text cases, use it to change the uh, case sensitive of the text. So let us see this practically. The very first option that we have to see is font and font sizes and uh, glyphs. So now, if I am selecting the text, make a text box. So now, if you wanted to write anything, let us say, hi, welcome to tutorials point. This is what I have written. The font is not readable. After selecting, you can change the font style from here by clicking on this. Whatever the style that you want, you can click and you can change the font style and you can increase the font size by clicking on this, which is called font size and you can directly check with this also. What is the font style that you want? Uh, let's say I would like to apply any bold font. Let us I wanted to use stencil std bold which is very bold and press enter you can see how it has been applied uh, let me change this font also times new roman clicking on this just click it as regular so here once if you click on this font the font style gets changed and increasing here will increase the size of the font and then here we have some of the other options related to the font like regular, italic, bold, bold italic. By using this option, you can see that the font changes its style. Bold, it becomes bold and bold italic. It is bold and it becomes italic. So let us put it as regular. And then the next thing is glyphs. So here we have written some text in this and maybe if I wanted to insert a symbol into this text box. So directly using your keyboard, you can't insert any kind of symbol into the text box because it is a text box. You can write only the text to insert any kind of symbols. You will have to go to the type menu and then choose glyphs. So glyphs is the option where you can insert the symbols. Let us say maybe I wanted to insert this kind of a symbol. So you can directly use this glyphs option to insert such symbols which we cannot write it using the keyboard. And then next is text cases like uh, going back to this here we have uh, change case like all the selected font or the selected text going back to change case uppercase you can turn everything into uppercase or lowercase everything becomes into lowercase and next is title case in case of title each and every first letter or the first alphabet of the word becomes capital and then last is sentence case you can see here only in the first letter of the sentence will be in capital and rest will be in small. So this is how we can make use of these uh, text cases. And that's it about this type menu.